Welcome to Tech Talk with Trevor Galbraith, a video podcast that features industry leaders and experts from the electronics manufacturing community. Recorded at major events around the world and from the studios of Global SMT TV. Now here is your host, Trevor Galbraith. Hello and welcome to today's Tech Talk. I'm delighted to introduce uh, a suite of uh, high sea level uh, executives from ASMPT. Uh, and they don't come much higher than Gunter Lauber. <laughs> so, uh, Gunter, welcome to the show today. Um, now, your, your current title is CSO and uh, SMT Chairman. So, you've been that, in that role now for approximately a year. You've moved up from, of course, leading the SMT Solutions uh, uh, Division uh, as their CEO to become the Chief Strategy Officer for the entire group of ASMPT companies. Um, so, acting as that, uh, Joseph Ernst has succeeded you in, in the position for the SMT Solutions team. Uh, but tell me, can you tell us a little bit about the setup and your new role and, and what you bring to the ASMPT group? Yeah, uh, thanks Trevor for mm -hmm. having me here, yeah. first of all. And uh, yes, as you mentioned, I handed over the operational responsibility of the SMT business to Joseph. Mm -hmm. And uh, yes, uh, I somehow have to learn not being in charge anymore because I did this <laughs> for 16 years. Right. And uh, now Joseph is taking over, but it's running very well. And I can focus more on the strategy, as you, as you said. And mm -hmm. the main focus here is we have two strong engines in the company, the SMT solution business yeah. and the semi-solution business. But there are a lot of synergies we can leverage from. And this is what I'm Both. driving for. And I also try to make the, the, our growth strategy even more successful going forward. Mm -hmm. So there's some alignment to do. And if you look in merging markets like advanced packaging, there's a, a overlap between uh, semi backend market and SMT market, and this is where we have to make sure that we can provide to our customers a comprehensive portfolio. Yeah. And there we are uh, differentiating ourselves from the competition and all those things I'm driving going forward. Right, right. And yeah, and there are actually even even more than these two groups in in the ASMPT group portfolio. You have about half a dozen companies under your umbrella, so uh, I guess you're you're having to look to strategize how you they fit into to this model. Exactly, yeah. make yeah. sure that they are integrated uh, very yeah. well into the overall organization. As you know, uh, I think you will talk later on, yeah. <laughs> uh, ask me about the uh, software business or mm -hmm. integration of particular manufacturing and all those things. Yeah. I have to make sure that everybody is aligned. On the same line. Well, that actually brings me on to the topic of digitization and transformation. Uh, but there are significant trends across the industry. Um, how does ASMPT witness these trends uh, and its customer base, and what role does ASMT play in supporting the digital transformation strategies? First of all, I would like to mention that all of our customers are going now in this direction. So it's a kind of a mandatory thing that you do something on the digitalization mm -hmm. and on doing integrated software solutions, and that's why I'm so so happy that we did the acquisition of critical manufacturing in 2018 yes. and are on a good way to uh, provide integrated solutions to our customer because that's what is important, not just having hardware solution and then mm -hmm. some software solutions here and there. It has to be integrated and not integrated. only on the machine level, also on the line level, on the factory level and on the enterprise level. And this is yes. what we can provide with critical manufacturing being part of our solutions. And this is what our customers are also looking for. And mm -hmm. uh, this is what we what we are doing. Right, yeah. Well, the, I mean, critical manufacturing was a great acquisition, but we'll come on to that in just a moment. Yeah. Uh, but first of all, you know, with a strong focus on environmental uh, sustainability issues, what specific initiatives has ASMP taken to reduce its carbon footprint and advance uh, ESG goals? And what milestones have been uh, created and achieved so far? Okay. ESG is part of our strategy, mm. otherwise it, it doesn't work, then yeah, you may course. only do a little bit greenwashing, or, or, yeah. but yeah. it's part of our strategy. And we have set ourselves a target for a net zero, a net zero target for 2035 for mm -hmm. scope one and two. Those are the okay. things we can influence by ourselves. Right. And for scope three, we are a founding member of the Semiconductor Climate Consortium. Mm -hmm. And with this, we can work with our partners, suppliers and customers mm -hmm. to come up with a scenario for scope three. And then we will define our scope three targets mm -hmm. when we want to achieve this one. So I yeah. think this is, this is 
uh, very important. But coming back to scope one and two, for example, half a year ago, we have um, put 1,200 solar panels on our roof in Singapore. Okay. So we are good on the way to be carbon neutral for ourselves. Mm -hmm. For example, our booth here is recyclable or usable, so we okay. 90% of it, so we yeah. are not wasting anything. Mm -hmm. So we have um, done it all over the place in the organization, put programs in place. But again, coming back to scope three, this is the important one yes. where we have to work with our customers and suppliers to provide solution to our customers that they can save energy because they can then save much more than uh, right. we by ourselves it's, by building the machines. Yeah, it's a culture really you've got to try and install. Right. But I mean, one of the parts of sustainability is obviously trying to reduce the carbon footprint but by not shipping things across the other side of the world unnecessarily. Yeah, right. Uh, so is that something you've looked at as in where you manufacture and, and, and where you where you source materials? That's what we have done already since yeah. years because mm. we have uh, manufacturing sites in Asia and mm. in Europe so we don't need to ship machines to Asia to our Asian customers from Europe. We do mm. it from Singapore, yeah. from Malaysia yeah. and in Europe we ship uh, from Munich and for Americas from Munich is also not too far. So mm. we have done this already and we are saving a lot of energy costs already due to this. Okay, okay. Now the, the acquisition of critical manufacturing added MES capabilities to the uh, portfolio. Um, how do these capabilities enhance ASMPT's uh, offerings and contribute industry 4.0 transformation? As I mentioned earlier already, it's addressing the factory level. So far with our solutions, we could address the machine and line level, but yeah. only for our products, obviously, because <laughs> that's what we are optimizing there. But if you look at the factory, you have always different kind of equipment from competition, from all the way uh, printers and, and ovens, and, mm -hmm. and you have to connect everything. And with critical manufacturing, we can do this. So we can optimize the whole factory. Right. And uh, nowadays, gathering data and displaying data is not enough anymore. So you can monitor and display the performance of the line, mm -hmm. but if you cannot give the operator the why is the line is not running 100%, uh, then, then you are not good anymore. So what right. we are doing is we collecting the data, analyzing it and providing the operator information why the line is performing, how it is performing at the moment, and what to do to improve it. So mm -hmm. those tools will enhance the OEE and the overall efficiency of the line right. and give the operator more power to control the factory. Okay. So, I mean, uh, you know, critical manufacturing obviously operates in many different uh, uh, sectors of, of the industry, in different industries, should I say. Um, have you learned anything from, from uh, coming back the other way? Uh, yes, but uh, we are not addressing the whole market with critical manufacturing. We have focus markets, mm -hmm. it's semiconductor, electronics, it's medical and uh, the general industry. Yeah. And, and out of this, yes, there are things you can learn. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, SMT has uh, certain specifics, um, semi certain specifics. Mm -hmm. So you also have to consider those and be the expert in, in, in those areas as well. Okay. So, as the use of data analytics and AI in manufacturing increases, um, how do you see the role of modern MES software companies like ASMPT in interpreting data and providing actionable insights uh, versus the need for manufacturers to upskill their workforce and data analysis? I think the, the key is that you have an MES system where you have a data backbone where you can collect data from every level of the um, manufacturing from machine level all the way up to enterprise level and look at it from a, hol a holistic point of view. Mm -hmm. and, and then you can do the analysis uh, considering all the processes in the production and then you can optimize it better and provide information to the operator to enhance and optimize the production. Okay. And this Excellent. is this is what we're doing this we're doing manufacturing. Yeah. Right, right. Well you've certainly got a lot of challenges ahead, Gunther. I mean yeah. uh, not not least of which is AI, but um, you've got a lot of challenges uh, on, on your, your plate. But um, I certainly think you're the right man to strategize it all and, and bring it together. Oh thank you, uh, thank you for this. I have I have a lot of fun at least uh, in the new <laughs> <laughs> job and it, it makes really it's it's ex interesting, yeah. Excellent, excellent. Well I want to thank you for coming in and sharing that with us at least today. Okay, thank okay. you Trevor. Okay. okay, coming up after the break, we're going to be talking to the new man from the SMT Assembly Division, Joseph Ernst.